do a bit of a DIY, but, and it's, it's, it's the wall here, which yeah. also adds some beautiful, incredible warmth to the space. It does, and it's a texture. And again, you know, elaborate trim is very on trend right now, mm -hmm. but I wanted to show how you can do it with just paint, so it yeah. can be a little I inexpensive way. Sharon's brilliant. <laughs> and it she ties in so with well paint. with you the style. Do you know style. how much cheaper that is? It is a lot than getting cheaper. getting the paneling. Like, I love paneling. It's one of those things that I just, I wish I did it as soon as uh, I moved into the house. Yes, because it's a lot of work. And got it done. It's a lot of work now, but you can do it this way as well. Yeah. And the thing with the set is, I, I did, the, the nice thing about it is, too, you can do the painting to suit. I knew we had that beautiful um, metal sculpture from Home Sense. Right. So I was able to tie in the size of it based on that, do the Smart. measurements. So very easy. So I just I wanted to give one quick trip because it's it's really quite simple but I'll just give you my tips um, base coat in this case was sandy brown yeah I didn't want it to be white like trim because I think it'll mm. just stand out too much and be too graphic so start it off with that base coat it then you're gonna tape your trim lines on um, I love frog tape. I just find Best. that if you pull it off, it comes off easily and it doesn't take everything off. But one little trick that I did here to show you to get the cleanest line possible is if you put your base coat back over the tape, yep. once you've measured, once you've done everything, that will allow any bits of bleeding of the color that's going to happen will be the color that's already there anyway. Oh, so that kind of seals it. And then you use your nice dark color, which in this case is Sparrow, which we were talking about colors and um, Tamara talked about the grays yeah. that we brought into that space. Sparrow is like this perfect warm gray. So it's like a brown gray. So it's a great transitional color if you're going from um, warmer woods and that sort of warmer look to a cooler look. It's a really great um, a great color for that. So I'm just okay. going to put that over top there so you can kind of get the idea. And you've put out sort of the double the double trim, oh, I did which the double I think always trim. looks nice. It does. And I just did that around um, the sort of like the picture frame, mm -hmm. if you will. And um, so different sizes of tape. And you can even get quarter inch tape if you want to do almost um, just a little effect that looks like a pinstripe. Right. You can get the really small tape as well. So let's just quickly see how. The frog tape, it lifts up really easily. There we go. So you can see how. Let's not get yeah. paint on Tracy. <laughs> Look at that already, you can Yay. see. Exactly. Nice. So see how nice and crisp. Love it. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. 